In this video, we will cover the basic equipment, concepts, and types of multimedia systems you may encounter on campus. Let's start by learning about common equipment you will find in multimedia-enabled spaces. The heart of a multimedia system is the control system, which contains an equipment rack, touch panel for control, and input devices such as a Blu-ray DVD player, cable TV tuner, and document camera. Laptops are connected to the control system using analog or digital connections. All laptops made in the last five years or so feature a digital connection, such as HDMI. Digital connections transfer audio and video in the same cable and add a higher quality than older analog VGA connections. Connecting computers wirelessly is possible using Apple TV for MacBooks and Wi-Di for most Windows laptops. We'll cover connecting laptops to a multimedia system in the second video. The control system is connected to a room's display, usually a projector or TV, and some rooms even have multiple displays. You may encounter rooms that feature dual projectors, a projector and a TV, two projectors and a TV, or other configurations. Sending content to multiple displays is easy and will be covered in the second video in this series. Now, Let's review the types of multimedia systems you might see on campus. The most basic systems, commonly found in small meeting rooms, feature a projector and display with a wall plate for connecting input devices. These rooms don't have a control system and are usually operated with a remote. Wall plate systems feature a wall-mounted control pad used for turning off and on the display, selecting the input source, and adjusting volume. These systems are becoming more popular in meeting spaces and small classrooms due to their simplicity, reliability, and relatively low cost. Projector-only and wall plate systems generally do not include extra devices like document cameras or Blu-ray DVD players. Let's talk about classrooms. A typical classroom is outfitted with a full control system, single projector, document camera, and Blu-ray DVD player. Some rooms feature a cable TV tuner, depending on the building and budget. Dual projector classrooms are now quite common. They allow the user to project content to both displays or to connect multiple devices at the same time. For example, a professor could show content on one screen and a student could have their laptop connected to the other. Collaboration spaces are the newest addition to campus. These rooms feature a typical control system with dual display capabilities, but add additional TVs or projectors with wall plate connections. This setup allows three or more separate connections to the control system, enhancing collaboration possibilities in the room. Check out our second video, Basic Operation of a Multimedia System, to learn how to power off and on the control system, use the touch panel, connect your laptop using an adapter, and more.